I want you to stop sending me this. Stop making the Concord sad. Everybody, yes. The Concord was truly an engineering marvel because of many, many things. It was an incredibly safe airplane. In my opinion, it never really had any flaws or problems that inherently caused it to crash or anything. I mean, just look at the engineering marvel that was never done again of the interesting snoot drape design. In the cockpit, there is the visor nose lever right here, which you can put all the way to the down position, which makes the Concorde incredibly sad. It bows its nose down. Ah, oh, look at the Concorde being sad. You know, it looks like one of those sad looking dogs. And it is truly an amazing design that allows this airplane to fly both a little bit slowly for landing and takeoff and very, very quickly. So when you were to take off, you'd put the nose visor to around five degrees, just like that. So it's half sad. This is just how you would put out the flaps on a plane. By the way, this airplane does not have flap. Ah, you would release the airplane brakes, have the afterburners shoot up some fire and go full power. And now that we're taking off um, here, maybe at like 180 something knots right here, we can definitely tell why the snoot troop was even designed for the Concorde. Because at lower speeds like this, like 250 knots, which is pretty fast already, but at low speeds like this, the airplane has to fly like that. And if it had a straight nose, which we're gonna do now, we're putting up the nose into the normal flying position, we wouldn't be able to see a single thing. Genuinely. Now you can barely see what is in front of you, but when you're landing at this kind of angle, which it did by the way, so that is a very high angle here when it's landing, you wouldn't be able to see a single thing of the runway, which of course means a bit of danger as well. Cause what if the nose visor failed? What if you're flying, you're coming back for landing and then suddenly you realize the nose visor doesn't go down again. And here comes the crazy part because this failure, which you might expect to happen, the nose visor being stuck in the up position, kind of like maybe flaps failures happen sometimes, never happened in real life at all. Generally, I couldn't find one single time where the snoot troop wasn't down on landing. And that is part of the marvelous engineering of this airplane. Because what is the thing that actually actuates this nose down movement that makes the Concorde sad. It is the hydraulic system, either the yellow or the green. So there is two redundancies. If one hydraulic system failed, you could use the other one. So let's imagine that happened, which wouldn't be very nice for uh, controlling the aircraft. Now you would say now, oh no, the nose visor doesn't come down, but no problem. Because just like mostly all landing gear systems, there is even a manual emergency nose visor uplock release, which brings the nose down with the gravity. Now you can't use that in the flight sim here, but this is what I'm trying to say with the Concorde. It was so incredible and things never really went wrong. But what if, let's imagine they did. For some reason, the nose visor would be stuck to this position. Let's maybe find out what it's like to still try to land this plane. And let me tell you, it probably doesn't make much difference because the nose visor being down doesn't make that much of an aerodynamic difference or something. It's not like a flapless landing. Literally all that changes is the fact that you can't see outside. So let's go ahead and pull off a flight like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep the nose visor down. Of course, you wouldn't take off in this position. You would definitely use the handle to put the nose down in some way like this, but we're not gonna do that, nor are we using the separate system that there is even in place as well, where we can put the nose to five degrees or even down. Damn, that was so many things that save this airplane from going wrong. We're just gonna take off like this. Let's go full power in our four engines and just see what this looks like. You know, the funny thing is, when the Concorde was being developed, they actually did not plan on having the Snoot Troop, which dropped. They actually wanted to keep it a nice, simple shape, just like this. But in order for pilots to see anything, they wanted to actually incorporate cameras in screens. Back in the 60s, they wanted to do that, but the pilots said no. Yes, the Concorde originally planned to be much more futuristic than you might think. Anyway, let's try to take off. Once again, the nose visor isn't really needed for flying. The plane will still fly and take off like this it's just that we can't see anything for takeoff that's not a big deal well as long as there's no mountain here but i'm a little bit scared of uh landing 
Uh, good. So the airport is right in front of us somewhere, but I'm not allowed to use the map. I'm just allowed to increase my height here, sit it maybe on some pillows, and then maybe we can see a runway pop up. This is actually, sounds just a bit tough. Maybe I can look to the side. Uh, yeah, this kind of feels like flying an SR-71 now. This is honestly quite not a very fun challenge. You really can't see much, uh, but I do see a runway. I do see a runway, and it might be a pretty bit of a hard landing, you know. All right, the nose visor is up. We are descending. I can see the runway in front of us. We're looking okay. We're looking fine. We just can't see much, and we're way too fast. But I kind of want that. I don't want the angle to be too too crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're in trouble. I can't. I can't see anything. I can't see a single thing. We might have a runway in front of us. Oh, yeah, there he is. Uh oh. Uh, I got it. I got it. Oh. I think this is the runway. I think I got it. Yes, we've landed. Yes, that was actually not a bad landing. I think, I hope, I guess. Let's go full power into the reverse thrust. And everybody, we have stopped with this new troop up. Like they even, like they had all these fail-safe systems that didn't really matter because like it wasn't that big of a deal. There's another reason why it wasn't that big of a deal, by the way. I think our wheels are on. Yeah, our, our wheels are a bit on fire. Uh, oh no, they're very much on fire. Because even in the worstest case of this thing not coming out, might want to put out the landing gear. The airplane had auto land. Like, right now, I'm not doing anything. The autopilot is on. Of course, we need to land at an ILS-capable runway. For example, Los Angeles. That their auto land is turned on, and we don't care. Right? We're going to have this plane at a nice 205 knots for landing, and it will just land. It will just butter. Fair enough. This might not have the best auto land system. It's kind of messing up right here. It knows that it's too low, so it's showing it. And I can see that. But still, is there any other plane with this much aura? I can literally let the airplane land from like an outside view. Let's have it land from the tower. We don't have to see anything. You know, this is a aura airplane. Um, look at that. It has landed beautifully. And now all we need to stop, do is stop. I have no idea why this didn't work. Um, it's fine. You know, the nose visor seemed to be safer than it needed to be. But what would have happened? Um, if the nose visor went incredibly wrong. Oh, no. Maybe, uh, something like this. Oh! Oh no! It's kind of like Michael Jackson losing its nose. Yeah, what if it like went out of hinge? Um, I think it would look very funny. It wouldn't end very well, I would imagine. This is not aerodynamically simulated. Uh, how about 40? Uh, oh wow, this looks really funky now. 50 degrees! And this is what the Concorde would look like without a nose job. Hmm, I guess it would still fly. But with all that debris falling back, falling behind into the engines, it would be like a bit of a nightmare. Right, but now we have nice visibility. Can we have like 70 degrees? Yeah, that is even more, you know, like a full 90. Oh, yeah, you know, if it weren't for the debris hitting the rest of the aircraft, I think we could, yeah, we're still flying. This is absolutely perfect, and we have perfect view. All right, Concord, you are, uh, I consider you saved. Don't worry. Oh, my God. God, no. Don't be ashamed, Concorde. We're gonna save your nose. Uh-oh. All right, this plane still kind of flies like a fighter jet. All right, there we go. Let's put her down. Oh, that was, that was a bounce. Don't worry. That was a hard landing. Don't worry now. You're okay. You're okay. You just feel a little bit ugly. Sad Concorde. Somebody now you know why the Concorde was kind of underrated in terms of its safety. People thought it was kind of like a death machine. It wasn't. And sorry, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night.